Go ahead, pull the lights on. Okay, I'm testing the circuit. Uh, evidently the circuit is live all the way to the bulb. Okay, I have a headlight out. And before I went ahead and replaced the bulb, I want to make sure that was a problem. I can't find my test light anywhere. Uh, so I had to get my voltmeter, my multimeter. And first thing I want to do is check the connector. And the connector seems to be okay. And I have voltage coming to the headlight. As you can see, I'll show you once again. I got it unplugged. And I'm just going to ground my meter. There's 11.45, which would be low beam. There's zero and zero. So this red lead with the black tracer on it right there will be the hot for your low beam. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and plug it back in. Well, I don't know why I'm plugging it back in. I don't have to plug it in. I gotta remove the bulb anyway, and the headlight anyway. Let's see, there's a screw here. Go ahead and replace the lid out. And I'll just loosen that one for the time being. There's not one in down here. One down here at the bottom. Oh, yeah, and one down here in the very bottom. Got it, take the socket and twist it out, and you're done. Yeah, it's supposed to be a screw in down here. Uh, I don't have one for it, it's been long since lost. Okay, four screws that holds this headlight trim ring in place. Just loosen the top ones for the time being. One more. Normally, there is a connector holding that on. You can catch it as it falls down. That was not very old. I just put that on just a couple years back. The unboxing. All right, new headlight. Even comes with a little guard on the back side of it, so you don't, so the connectors don't get mashed together. 
Okay, and just make sure inside is top. Uh, some of them will have top up here. Some of them, the, you can just pay attention to how the writing on it is. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in so I don't have to reach behind the, between the battery and the fire and the, and the core support later on. Okay, the holes, two of them are close together, two of them are far apart. The one that's close together go at the top. Been a nice day today. It's in the mid 60s. It's a real nice day. As I said, Wednesday. I said that I hope that we get an actual spring where we get some weather that warms up. Um, it has been cold, wet, and really horrible. It's pretty good. We hadn't had much of a winter since the middle of January. Then all of a sudden, when spring comes along, it decides to turn cold, which is about how it works. So I'm hoping that we're through all that mess now and we can get on with spring. I still have a yard to clean up. Then get the mower ready. And by then it will be time to mow grass again. Uh, we're not really looking forward to that, but in a way we are. In a way we're not. Okay, go ahead and plug the uh, light bulb socket in. You look and there's three openings. One is a real wide opening and you'll see three uh, places. You'll see a tab here and a tab here and two big wide tabs at the bottom of the socket. And you just want to align those two wide tabs in the wide, wide opening and give it a twist. rid of that screw before I lose it. I've already lost enough screws. <laughs> Need another trick to wrestle. Let's back in place again. Uh, part of it. It has an alignment dowel on the back side that aligns in a hole in the core support that you really have to watch out for. And put this bottom screw in. Yeah. I said that I would. Let's start with another one. And I'm not going to tighten them up right now. And just leave it kind of snug. And come back to it. I would put one in here, but there's a screw missing. I don't have the screw. It's never had one in it. All right, and there's supposed to be another one in here. There's supposed to be another tab at the bottom of this. 
right there where the screw goes. And that's been long broke. Alright, so we're just about ready to test operation and see if my new headlight works. With a little luck, it will. I'll we'll go ahead and put the lights on once again. Shines just perfect. Um, so hopefully these will last and that one will last another year. I just put that one in like um, about a year and a half ago, maybe. That hasn't been in there all that long. They don't make seal beams like they used to. Oh, well, it's Friday. Been a heck of a week. Uh, Tuesday was an adventure. I ended up working late Tuesday. My uh, truck had came in and he was extra slow about getting out and he was extra slow about getting his tarps off and i'm like come on man you know some of us would actually like to go home because he showed up at quitting time and managed to make us stay a lot longer than he did yeah that was fun thought well i thought i was gonna have to actually run him out but i didn't he left on his own finally well anyway that's about all for now tgif Thanks for watching.